Me, I know. I felt it too. Like I can say if it if it doesn't quite down. So he seems a lot better now. Long ago, the War of the Magi. Magi? Magi? Probably Magi. Reduced the world to a scorched wasteland and magic simply ceased to exist. 1,000 years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. Roman reigns. Boo! Any chance for a shot at Roman reigns? But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. The dread destructive force? Shouldn't it be dreaded? Again, I mean, it's, you know, probably Japanese translation error. It is a very old game. Yeah, I have played the Final Fantasy series to death, most of them. Never got around to 6, I don't know why. Again, if it's still too loud, let me know. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? I suppose so, yeah, I don't know. Who seems to tab out to me? I'll turn it down in a minute. Looks very different from Final Fantasy VII, I'll tell you that much. This was like the last 2D sprite one they made, wasn't it? There's the town. Is he a Vix? Okay, so this guy's called Wench. You need to speak up, Jason. Alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Right. What the hell happened there? That was weird. Alright, let's skip that dialogue. See, this is what I have to do after the dialogue. Think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. And this woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? I heard she fried 50 of our magic tech armored soldiers in under three minutes. Or your money back. Not to worry, the slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. Are they talking about our character? Because I think that's us, right? The, the green haired chick. So I, I believe this is one of the few finals of the game where the main character is a girl. Uh, we'll approach from the east. Move out! How are you all doing, everyone? How's your day going? Like I said, the second we get control, turn the, turn the volume down a bit. But now just, you know, suck it up. The cutscene's gonna be a little loud. It'll be fine. How good That's some pretty good music. I like it. Again, I still see it. it's loud. Don't worry, don't worry, fix it. The wind is as hard as, for you, as your love for pizza. I thought I was going to go somewhere else, knowing you, Janice. She's probably going out and playing the SNES version. I think that's obvious. Because I think that was the only version where it was called Final Fantasy III in the USA. I don't know. Man. Point is, SNES version, USA version, called Final Fantasy III, but it's Final Fantasy VI. Like I say, Japan are weird. Yeah, so I've completed 7, 8, 9, 10. I got to, I think, the final boss of 12. And we got around to 15. 13 I detest with all of my being. I've almost finished 4. Played a good chunk of 1. Can't remember if I played 2. I played a tiny bit of 3. Three's another one I need to get around to. I heard 3 was one of the worst ones, but that doesn't mean it's bad necessarily, but I heard it was, you know, not one of the better ones. Eight and nine are my favorites, but you know, they're all like seven, eight, and nine are all really close together. My best friend in real life, who watched me play most of these games, and we sort of, you know, took turns, his favorite is ten. But like I like ten a lot, but it's it's definitely not my favorite. I do love the laughing scene though. Laugh with me, Yuna! Ha 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 Kill me. What about the awesome 10 2? Never touched it. Did after. Oh, wait, yeah. No, no, I did play a little bit of 10 2. Never mind, I'm lying. Uh, but yeah, I didn't play much of it. He finished it, though. Let's put her on point. I know the wind's still enough. No sense taking any risks for her. And I control my character. I believe we can. Alright, fantastic. The Esper's gotta be in here. Move out. Alright. Give me a moment. Let's tab out the game. Go to the volume mixer. Volume controls. This over here on the other screen, so I can adjust on the fly. Let's put it down to like 5% from 11%.
that sounds a lot better to me. I think that is going to be good now. Let me know if it still needs to be turned down, and I will do so. Why am I walking backwards? That's exactly what we shouldn't be doing. What up, Vulpix? How's it going, man? Do we have, like, a sprint bunny or anything? Probably not, Ryan. I don't think you even... No? Can you sprint in seven? I don't remember. I think you kind of can. Anyway, there's a room out. Machine riding, self important swine. Take this. Is a dog attacking me? Was the dog the one shit-talking me? It's called Lobo. Okay, hold, hold the phone here. Right, so we've got Magitech. We've got Bolt, Fire, Ice, and Heal Force. I can probably guess what all of those do. Let's try Ice. Probably not a great idea to use Ice on a wolf that lives in snow, you know? But it's cool. I want to try it. Oh, it's dead. All right. Suck it. So that makes me think. There's a guy, like a streamer, called Lobos Jr., right? And he's like, pictures a wolf. So it, Lobo has to have something to do with wolves, right? Like, it's, it's just hit me. I've put two and two together. I'm like, wow, that must be why it's called Lobo's Jr. I, I get it now. Poor puppy. Was he the... I don't think it was the dog shit talking me, right? I think it was like the dog's owner and then they ran off, like the guards or whatever. Yeah, he literally said guard, I don't remember that. Imperial Magic Deck Armor, not even... Noshies? Noshe? I'm gonna go with Noshe. I don't know. Not even Noshe is safe anymore. <laughs> Why do the guards look like zombies? <laughs> Is it? I remember that in Final Fantasy VII, like, um... Sort of near the beginning, you're escaping from... Wherever the hell it is, the... The reactor or whatever. And you get attacked by guards. And they look like guards, but then you go into combat with them, and they look like these weird robot mutant... Things? It's like a weird trope of Final Fantasy games. Like, you get in battle with them, and then they just look like some weird zombie. And you're like, what the hell happened there? Oh my god, so many gods. Now she's freedom depends on us. Yep, more Lobos. Alright, so we've got Magic and Magitech. Okay, so why would I... Hmm... What's X for? I don't know. Let's try Tech Missile. Get Tech Missile, son. I want to use a uh, Bolt Beam. So I got... Now, if you are unfamiliar with uh, turn-based JRPGs, let me spoil this for you. The combat will be extremely dull at the beginning of the game, because it is in every single one of these things. But later in the game, it's probably going to be a lot more interesting, but at the beginning, it's always like, you can just do a few basic attacks, and that's it, so, you know. But now, suck it up, the combat's going to kind of suck. That's just that's just a JRPG thing. But I'm sure I'll get about. Which emulator is this? Uh, SNES 9X. We've got Wedge and Vix with us. I wonder if we'll meet Biggs. Or maybe that's, like, Vix is the the origin of Biggs or whatever, and he, you know, Vix Biggs is kind of similar. I don't know. I know Biggs and Wedge came from, uh, it's like a Star Wars reference. Like in one of the early Star Wars movies, there was Biggs and Wedge, they were like pilots or whatever. I wonder if can be, well, probably not in this, like, Magitech suit. No. Is that, is it just me, or is that sign on, like, the picture on the sign, is that not, a, like, a genie's lamp? It's like straight up the lamp from Aladdin. We've got him trapped now! Yes. Yes, don't you just... Arabian nights make Arabian days. It's an anvil. An anvil? No. Get out of here. <laughs> that is the GD's lamp. There's no way there's an anvil. Also, you can become broken due to it being a cycle game. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of stuff in this game you can miss. I remember, I don't, I don't know the exact details, but I remember some, hearing someone talk about having to farm for like a turtle shell or something, and there's like one room in the game, like one tiny little room in the game that's the only place where these turtles spawn and you need the shells for something or other. I remember hearing something about that on like a podcast, I don't remember. I don't bloody know. Alright, we made it through the town. Oh no, god, no, never mind, we didn't. I thought we did, I got all excited. I know there's no random encounters here. I appreciate that. Not just this. What do you mean, not just this? What up, Alex? You're still at work. That's right, man. Don't worry about it. How's work going? We must defend the mines. We're going to mine. What? All right, take it easy, dad boy. Sleep well, buddy. Arr, sure, we use fire. It looks like a woolly mammoth. What's it called? A vonmouth? 
Did I read that right? I don't know. I want to try this uh, tech uh, transfer or whatever the hell it is. Expo? I already forget the name. This version was still great. had a lot of translation errors. Vix and which is one of them. Oh, okay. So, so it, it is supposed to be Vix. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. Uh, either way, this was the version that I was suggested to play. I mean, I know it is on Steam, but the Steam version... Let's see if I can show you with the cursor. The Steam version has this problem where it's just got like a black outline around everything. Instead of being like pixel art, they've put this awkward line around it. It's just exactly as hell. So, yeah, that and a few other reasons were why I was told to avoid the Steam version. So, you know, that's why we're playing this one. We're playing the one that's actually six, but called three and... Biggs is called Vix, but yeah, we'll deal with it. According to our sources, or source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. So, if I remember correctly, from the other games, or maybe I heard it in a different game or a movie or something entirely, I think Esper is, it either means spirit or essentially like, it's basically a summon, I think, in some of the games. I'm sure they're called Espers. I don't remember which games. Yeah, I'm sure, that, I'm sure the summons are called Espers in some of the games. In fact, I think it's four, isn't it? I think they're called Espers in four. Well, I don't bloody remember. Would you play World of Final Fantasy if you get the chance? Just curious. It is practically Pokemon plus Final Fantasy. I mean, maybe? I don't know. I got so many things to get to. Where rat? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they look hilarious. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Oh, I clicked on heal. Okay. How's our health doing? I don't know, to be honest. Oh, not terribly good. All right. Magic, cure, cure, wedge. That's wedge, right? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Are you wedge? Who the hell are you, man? Alright, let's use heal force on us? I think I used it on the wrong dude. Yeah, okay, our health was actually insanely low. Let's make sure we fix that. Yeah, I used it on the wrong guy, didn't I? Balax. Alright, that's fine. There we go, we're all good. Esper equals person with abilities like telekinesis and other abilities. Oh, okay. Thank you. But am I right that they're, they're summoned in at least one of the games? Work isn't great today. Great today. Got some important stuff done but people are annoying today that sucks i know that feeling oh boy do i know the feeling oh and someone i think it was uh revan yeah it was revan mentioned uh that i should play become human I, at some point i might it does look interesting what does this do an eerie glow surrounds you is this a save point or something 24 about ah it is a save point at save points, I don't know why I click that. You can use a sleeping mat, I'm guessing it's just like every other game. Uh, or tent, and also save the game. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save point. Though any GP, treasures, etc. you found will have to be found again. Your level and experience date will be retained. Huh. That's an interesting system. You can save a game anywhere on the world map. See, in the other games, I don't remember a single other Final Fantasy game where it would sort of... You know what I mean? Like, if you died, it was just game over. You had to reload yourself. I don't remember it being that you could die and then just sort of respawn, a la, dare I say it, a la Dark Souls. But, um, yeah, it does, it does sound almost a little bit Dark Soulsy, doesn't it? Like losing money in EXP or whatever it said. That, well, I don't think it was EXP, it was something else. I forgot already. In your opinion, the best version, uh, going to emulate root, or that emulate root, is the G, okay, Game Boy Advance version. Update translation, bug fixes, and slight graphics improvements. Eh. It's, I'm sure it's like, you know, minuscule the difference, so... I'm not massively concerned. It's fine. Yeah, like I say, I, I did look into it, and it seemed like the general consensus was this version, so... Like, you know, I believe you, don't get me wrong, but... I'm sure the difference is... Whoa! Alright, I didn't expect that. I'm sure the difference is minor. Why was there a little, like, green man? I just realized called a repo man? Like... <laughs> What the hell are these enemies? It's like some Alice in Wonderland shit. Like, I'm the Repo Man. I hang around in caves. Does he, like, rob me or something if I give him a chance? That was weird. I know, right? Total Dark Souls knockoff. I'll handle this. Stand back. Looks like I got a face on my little backpack there. Like a sad face. You see it? Does anyone else see it? You see, like, this is the eyes. This is the nose. And, like, this weird thing is, like, the mouth. And because it, like, it either looks sad or tired, I don't know. Alright, up and at them. How do I, why can't I get, uh, what, what happened there? We won't hand over the Esper. Okay, random guard. Welk, get them. Welk, huh? 
Oh, it's a... Uh, this is a boss? It's like a snail, right? Hold it. Isn't there some type of, um... Seafood called Welks? I'm sure my dad used with them. Hold it! Think back to our briefing. What about it? So just to clarify. Sea snail. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So Vix is Vix. If so, I'll try and just call him Vix. Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? And stores the energy in its shell. Okay, sure. Alright, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright, already. Does it have, like, multiple bots I can do? Okay, so if it's from the sea, it's probably, uh, like, Pokemon logic, right? Let's use Bolt on it. Well, no, hang on, I just said lightning. Why am I doing that? Pokemon, you betrayed me again. Hang on a minute. Well, we'll see what it does. Okay, it did the damage. We'll, we'll, try, we'll try the other one, see, see if we do any better. What up, Johan? How's it going, man? Remember, I did less, so, so far, Bolt, Bolt is winning, but, you know, it's, it's probably just, you know, it's random numbers to a degree, so... Probably about the same. Yeah. Well, either way, it still did the most. Let's try bio, see if we can... Well, no, we're not... Mm. I'm supposed to attack the shell. I don't think I can only cut... What the hell? Did its head die, or did it just hide? I think it's just hiding. Alright, let's heal us in the meantime. I'm, uh, I'm okay, I'm a little tired. Because, again, this is... Uh, I haven't been up that long, but because I'm nocturnal, my, my body's just like, You should be sleeping! It's like, No, I'm fine! Leave me alone. So I feel tired even though I really shouldn't be, you know? What am I supposed to do? It's just it's just in the shell. I don't think we're supposed to attack it, right? Li I was literally told not to attack the shell. I'm trying to be good here and listen. That's something I don't normally do. Okay, it's growing. Does that mean it's... Okay, it's bang out. Alright. Give it a nice... You know, try bolt again. See if it does the same damage. Chuck it. What about if we try, like, fire? How different is that? Bam, bam, be quiet. No, fire was awful. Okay, good to know. Is it trying to poison me? What the hell are you doing? What happened to you, bigs? Shug it. Alright, I'm guessing this thing ain't gonna last much longer. No! I think we're gonna take the shell. This could be horrible. Yeah, because it's like just gonna default to the shell, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, we healed it. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Awesome. How many times have I died? Not yet. <laughs> to be honest, most Final Fantasy games are not that tough. It's more about the story and, you know, the world and so forth. Having said that, Sephiroth did kick my ass several times. Uh, the missile? Yeah, we should... Oh, wait, is, is there a description? Hmm. I know some of the Final Fantasy games you could press, I think it's in 7, but maybe 7 might have been the first one when they added it. You could press, like, select or whatever. And it would bring up like a little box, like here, above the uh, the box that you know you're selecting stuff in. I don't think time's gonna pass whilst we're in this menu. I just attacked him by mistake. Damn it! I thought I was pressing the cancel button. Son of a bitch. Well, yep. that was. Uh... Oh, good, it missed. Okay, that was totally my intention. I've distracted myself. Oh yeah, you could bring up like a box that would give you a description of uh, what things are and like what they do when you hover over it. But again, that, I remember them being a seven, so it just might not be, might not be in six because this one's older. All right, see how good the missile does. A lot. I think it's dead. Get wrecked, you sea-dwelling bastard! What are you get for trying to maul me in a cave where there's no visible water? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. We got one potion. Exciting. And you feel the excitement. A single potion from the boss. Jesus Christ. What have I done to deserve this bounty? Alright. What if we do anything in these corners or anything? I mean, it could be like secrets. You see what I mean? Like this. We can actually walk under that. So that makes me... It seems like I'm getting stuck on all the walls. Yeah, it makes me wonder if there's uh, secret parts or whatever. And here come the random battles. More bloody werets. Get out of here, you little scamps. I do like the battle music. That boss was pathetic, by the way. What it really reminds me of is the first boss in Final Fantasy IV is like, um... It looks a bit like Seath, again, to make another Dark Souls reference. It looks a bit like, it's sort of like a, a white tentacly looking dragon, I think, assuming I'm remembering correctly. And it's in a cave. It looks very similar to this cave. So, yeah. 
Getting some odd sort of Final Fantasy IV flashbacks. That was a boss. That was a boss. Yes. I mean, you know, the tutorial more anything. This is the Frozen Esper. It looks like a dragon. No, it doesn't look like that. It looks like a bird thing. Try talk. Music is good. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? Creepy! Yeah, exactly. It's just like the end of the tutorial. Not like a proper boss. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. So is it a summon then? Because it looks like one. Where's that light coming from? Wah! <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that right. No! Not Wedge. Hey, Wedge, where are you? What's happening? Biggs! Who's called Vix? We're just still called Girl, are we? I think I know her name. Isn't her name Terra? I know a few of the names and stuff like that, you know. I know the whole suplexing a train thing, you know. I've, I'm aware of Final Fantasy VI, I've just never played it. Or watched anyone play it. Fair Beauty, thank you as always so much for the 100 bits. How are you doing, my dear? Oh my god, that emote is animated. That is so creepy. I've never seen that before. That hand is just waving at me perpetually. That's so weird. That's so strange. <laughs> I always like this in the old Final Fantasy games, the way they, they make it look like your character's in the bed, because they've just got, like, you know... I, d I don't know what the correct word is, but basically, like, an image in the foreground, and then you just walk behind it. It's like, we're asleep now. <laughs> I'm easily amused. This guy... I think this one's called Locke, right? Where am I? I'm a girl. Oh, he's an old man now. I still think his name's Locke. Hello, Thico. How's it going, dude? Whoa! And I only just removed the crown. Head hurts. Yeah, get it. Look at my beautiful red and yellow dress. You're going home. All right, take it easy, Alex. Easy. This is a slave crown. I figured you know he's got a voice like this. He's an old man. The others, the others, had complete control over you while you were wearing it. I stumbled over my words quite a bit then. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It will come back to you. In time, that is. Why am I becoming Australian? I don't know. He's going to be Australian now. A mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire. Bloody Empire, they're up to it again. Ever since Star Wars. <gasps> Empire, Star Wars, Big and Witch, of course. And born with the gift of magic. Yep, she's called Terra. Cool. Terra's the girl's name, you meet Locke soon. Oh, okay, so it's not Locke. I swear I've heard his name, though. I just, like, I remember what he looks like. I've seen, I've seen pictures of him somewhere before with, like, his name. I just, I don't know what it is. Clearly. My name is Terra. It means Earth. Hmm. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. My god. I forgot, I'm Australian. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast, mate. Crikey. Open up! Give us back the girl in the Empire's magic deck armor. Spelled the wrong way, by the way. No you in armor. Open this door, we want that girl. She's an officer of the Empire. The music is very nice. Empire? Magic deck armor? What is this box? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. I'm an Aussie, mate. Over here. This Australian accent is going all over the place. Just all over the place. Actually, Star Wars was meant to be a nuclear missile defense system in the Cold War era, but then the movies were made. Ah. Oh. I had no idea. I got an Alexia from the clock. That was not what I expected. I just thought it was going to be like, it's... What time would that be? Five o'clock. I thought it was going to be like, it's five o'clock. What about the armor? You got any booty for me? It's like, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do the exact same thing that everyone did in Pokemon, wherein I think... The, the first Pokemon game, so you know, red and blue, there's like one bin somewhere where you get a potion out of it. Or whatever the hell it is. Like some item, some crappy item from a bin. And it's like the only bin in the entire Pokemon series. Or at least there's maybe like three of them or something. Like almost no bins in any of the Pokemon games contain anything. But you will then go and examine every single bin throughout the rest of eternity in every single Pokemon game. Because that one Pokemon game, one bin had a freaking potion in it. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to examine everything, expecting more Alexias to pop out clocks and shit. 
The sprite graphics are very... Yes, I like the graphics. Very, they're very nice. It is a lost art. Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. Oh, I forgot. I'm, I'm Australian again. All right. He'll just be Australian occasionally. Even though I should just do my normal voice, because apparently that sounds Australian. So. She's up there. Go blimey. Oh, no. Fan, stop making noise. Fan, fan. Apologies about the fan. I will have to smack it now and then. Do you have a new fan? Gonna build it tonight. Don't worry. So hopefully this will be the last time you hear me smacking my fan to make it stop making noise. Was I supposed to come in here? I'm gonna hope I was. I'm assuming we've got... Okay, we still got we still got fire and cure. We're not gonna have the, the magic armor abilities, obviously. Is the game ball color and Pokemon red also lock is soon like real damn soon. Okay. Shuck it. There's a little spin there, I think. It's awesome. She's like very cheerleader when she wins. Look at those lights. If that is not seizure inducing, I don't know what is. Good god. Alright, so this is a safe point. Now! There's another Repo Man and a Vapor Wrench. Alright, let's get rid of the Repo Man because he's got a bloody wrench. What is this dude? You know what he, he looks a lot like, um, Dr. Robotnik. Maybe not a lot like him, but like a bit like, yeah, you know, like the nose and everything. Bit of Dr. Why don't I take the. Yeah, well, whatever it's in. I still feel like they might rob you. Because, I mean, that's the thing in some Final Fantasy games, right? You get, like, thieves and stuff. And if you don't kill them quickly, they run off with your Alexias and stuff. It's really annoying. And we do have an Alexia now. So he could theoretically steal my Alexia. But he probably doesn't steal anything. He probably would have died by now. I wonder if the save points heal you. They do in some of the games. Let's make sure we shape the game. Ah, uh, beautiful. Rip, Biggs, and Vic, or whatever your name was. Victoria. All right, there is a chest up there, I think. Or is that a door? I think it's a chest. It looks too it looks too short to be a door, right? All right, so we one shot this thing last time. So let's go for that first. Limit the numbers, you know. Be be smart. Be smart about this. I still know some of these repo men. It's what a weird enemy. I just a dude who looks like a hunchback Doctor Robotnik with a wrench, just chilling in a cave. Like, <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing? Why are you called repo man? Why are you in here? This is so weird. Get out of here, little scumbag. I feel like we're about to level up. What level are we? We have five. Oh man, my health is low. Can I heal out of combat? Yes. Do that. Yeah. Our mana's... Well, our mana's not too bad, I guess. Did that cost ten to use cure? It might have done. This seems probably about right. No, five. Yeah, five. Okay. I must have used it another time, but I don't remember. Are you a chest? What? Oh my god. They spelled Phoenix wrong. I got a Phoenix down. <laughs> what the hell? What up, Marksman? This woke you up. Welcome. I don't know you meant this early. Yeah, I do apologize. How do I get to that chest? So for those who don't know, uh, Phoenix Downs are in basically every Final Fantasy game, but they're called Phoenix Down, like, spelled properly. Phoenix, with a PH. That one's called a Phoenix Down. What's up with that? That, mu that must be a translation error, right? Well, not necessarily, I guess. I'm trying to think... It's Phoenix in Portuguese, ah. I'm trying to think... I, I swear I remember some other Final Fantasy games, there was something they spelled differently. Uh, you know, like an item that was commonplace in the other game. How do I get to that? It looks like there's a path... Let me use my mouse cursor. It looks like there's a path here. You see, so we probably come from, like, off-screen down here, maybe? Because I don't really see any other way. I don't really want to backtrack and get a bunch of random battles as a problem. Yeah, it's... That's what I don't want to do. Bloody Repo Man! Jesus! I mean, it's the experience, but... Do we get to fight in mechs? My guess is no, but I don't, I have no idea, to be honest. My, my assumption is, like, the mech thing is over now. That was probably just the beginning of the game. He wrenched me. He wrenched himself. What, what happened? Did, did, did the 
Reaper Man just kill himself with a wrench? I don't know if I'm going the right way. Unless it is through here. Let's have a look. Oh my god. The calorie is so bloody high here. Maybe the wrench is... Maybe the wrench is like a move that can backfire or something. Maybe it's kind of like a boomerang and he smacked himself in the face with it. I don't know. I'm purely guessing here. All I know is it said wrench and then he died to himself. He's doing it again. He is a boomerang. Right. But it still hurt him. So I guess that's it. It's like it, it does damage to me, but then it hurts him afterwards. I suppose. Go on. We'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Don't ask Jason. Just don't ask us to check options. Check options. Battle mode. Hmm. Let's put up the battle speed. And put up the message speed. I don't know if we want to change any of these other ones. Me. We can change. Ooh, that's that's hideous. Oh lord, that's hideous. No, hang on. Stop it. No, stop changing that. Oh my god, why? Yes, we're gonna have the background that it looks like really weird chocobos. We're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna regret this. Oh, we can we can customize it like we can with um uh Final Fantasy VII. I remember doing that seven. I think I made it like black, like my soul. Yeah, they do look like ducks actually, but I assume they're supposed to be chocobos. But I don't know. All right, so I don't think we can go through there. Um, so I still don't know how to get to that chest, or whatever. Yes, now that's a menu. Where's my ring gold gone? Um, good question. Let me check, actually. Did I move it? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm confused by that. Uh, let me have a look. If I go there... Yeah, there it is. I will take it from there, then. Oh, no, my a poor favor. Right now, I'm gonna try and put it somewhere that it doesn't cover important stuff. Oh my god, that is mahusive. Right, there we go. Shrinkage. I'm gonna leave it in the top left for now. Because I think that's probably better than putting it on the bottom because it will cover like text and stuff, right? Uh, let's make sure the game is showing up. There it is. Beautiful. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. Alright. Yeah, that is a hideous menu. I'm gonna keep it, but it is hideous. Shag it! I don't really like... It bothers me that the text is white on top of, you know, sort of white-ish duck thingies. Duck chocobo things. Kind of clashes, you know? But we'll leave it for now. Maybe I'll change it later. For now, just deal with the hideousness. That is a monthly goal, yes. Not one I necessarily expect to meet, but at the same time, you know? Every little helps, as they say. And I put it on the screen by request. Back attack. Okay, I was wondering why we popped up on that side of the screen. I guess that's how they show back attacks, because, uh, you know, in like 7 and what have you, you would actually have your back physically away from them. Yes, and it means we do less damage with physical attacks, because I think the way it works is that we are now in the back row. And when you attack from the back row, you do approximately, as you can see, half as much physical damage. Unless you have, like, a gun or whatever, which I guess would still kind of be physical damage, but you know what I mean, like a, a melee weapon. Which, you know, in real life, makes absolutely no sense. Because you're still hitting them with the sword, so why would, you know, you starting from further back make any difference? But it's a video game, so, you know, just... It's just one of those things. Just just don't argue about it. It's just the way it oh, never mind! Okay, here's the thing. And don't tell me you didn't think this as well. I'm sure some of you did. I thought this bridge was a dead end, and I thought this was the lower ground. So I didn't realize we could just walk over here. I thought this was below us, and that we'd have to, like, get through here. But no, no, it's it's actually on the same level as us. That was confusing. All right. What up, Dave? Receive sleeping bag. By the way, this stream will not be incredibly long, because it is currently 4.15, and I gotta leave to go watch Deadpool 2 uh, at 5.30, I think it is? So I gotta leave in about an hour. So we, we got about an hour. Give or take. Just letting you know. Uh, I might... Eh, probably not. Uh, I was gonna say I might stream later, but what I'll probably do is I'm gonna start downloading the, um... 
what do you call it? The Somerset Isles expansion for Elder Scrolls Online, and I'll probably come back. And if I'm, you know, not super tired, I'll try and record like an episode of that because I will be recording that as opposed to streaming it. Just cause, really, I don't know. I feel like that is a secret door right there. You see that? That is definitely a secret door. That is very suspicious. I don't know. I feel like that's gonna be one of the series that's gonna be better recorded. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Vaporite. Wish you know to give the the YouTube channel some. Unique content is on the live stream. I don't know. Don't understand why not play Chrono Trigger. I will play Chrono Trigger. Trust me. Chrono Trigger is on my list to get to. Sooner rather than later. But for whatever reason, I just decided six was uh six was the one I was going to jump into first. But yes, trust me, I absolutely will play Chrono Trigger, and if I can as well, Chrono Tr Chrono Cross. Don't worry. Got her. All right, we got to change this menu. It is hideous. Absolutely disgusting. Yep, we're screwed old. Hooray, we fell down a hole. Solo was decent. Yeah, I don't know if I watched that. <laughs> I'm not really a sci-fi guy. We've got the anime goal set down to a T. My sweet little magic user, we're here with this slave crown, I practically own you. Sorry, I had to mute to smack the uh, the fan, so that's why I was a little delayed there. Exactly. Ah, my leg! Marksman gets it. Probably doesn't know where the reference is from. It's from uh, a TV show called My 600 Pound Life, about fat people, like, losing weight. It's really interesting. There's this one clip of some fat chick falling over, and she goes, Ah, my leg! And it's just hilarious the way she said it. So every time people hurt their legs now, I think of her going, Ah, my leg! And it, just, it brings a smile to my my dark heart. What is going on right now? I'm not controlling any of this. You, you're good! Burn up everything! Burn it down! What up, Josh? How you doing, buddy? Yes, though? We stand on the brink of a major breakthrough. In the days to come, we'll witness a total revival of magic. It is our destiny, and ours alone to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. The Triforce of Courage. With our newfound power, nothing can stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live the Emperor Gestal! Are they Nazi saluting? <laughs> that looks like a Nazi salute. I'm just saying. Alright. Maybe they're just really big fans of Matt Hardy. And they're actually doing the delete gesture, but it just, you know, if you do it wrong, it looks like you're doing a Nazi salute. Maybe that's what it is. That's gotta be Locke, right? I remember him having a headband, I think. I don't know. Thinking long enough, how goes the robbing and plundering trade? Look at his face. Treasure hunter and trailworn traveler. Searching the world ever for relics of the past. I don't know why I'm doing an old British voice, but I kind of like it. Uh, Alright, yeah, he's called Locke. His picture looks very different to his uh, in-game sprite. That's not the way I would guess he looks. He, you know what he looks like there? He looks like uh, one of those shitty like fairground mystics that have a crystal ball, and they're like, Cross my palm with silver, and I shall tell you your fortune. And then they're like, You're going to fucking die. It's like, oh, thanks. That's what he looks like there. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha! Semantic nonsense. Luck, there's a huge difference. He's doing a finger waggle. He's got sass. Anyway, were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. She's hot. This better not have anything to do with that magic deck riding Imperial Witch. Mm, I think it might be me. Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. I have to change these weird ducks. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners and underground resistance movements. Like, uh... What are they called from Final Fantasy VII? I want to say, like, Outer Haven, but that's Metal Gear Solid. I want to say Seventh Heaven, but that's the bar. 
It's on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember what the hell they were called. You know, Tifa's gang. Tifa and Barrett. Take these you have. That girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get her to understand our dilemma. I'm sure someone will say the name. Alright, I think we'd better help her. Agreed. Make your way first to Figaro and talk to the king. Let's just have a chat with the king, you know? He won't have a problem talking to a thief. I'm the king. I have nothing better to do. I'm rich, don't you know? I just sit here all day. I do like his hair. At least in his sprite. It's, he's got like that floppy, the curtains thing going on. Yeah, I can't remember the name either of Tifa's group of rebels in Final Fantasy VII. Now we gotcha. Are those wolves? Like, what are they? Look, Avalanche, there you go. Thank you, Billy. Wonderful, wunderbar. There's a whole bunch of them. Kupo, <gasps> it's a Moogle. It's Dos Moogles. Moogles, are you saying you want to help me? Are they gonna fight for us? You hate the screen, me too. I'll change it over. Kubo! It's time to kick ass and eat Kupo nuts. And <laughs> I'm all out of nuts. Use us to save Terra from the gods. Need more information? You know what? Yes, please. You'll fight using three different groups. Oh, press the wire button to switch between them. Gotcha. Have you played Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus? I have not, actually. Isn't that like a shooter or something? No. Is that a shooter? Yeah, it's the one where you play like Vincent, isn't it? I think. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't even played, um... Bollocks! What was the, the spin-off one where you play as, um, Zack? That one on the PSP? I haven't even played that one. Crook. I want to say it's got, like, the word cross or crew. Something, something to do with C. Work with me here. See, it's got it's got a letter C in there because of a C, right? I can't remember. You're enjoying the on-point voice acting. Thank you. Your job is to defeat the commander of the guards before his men reach Terra. Save her or else. Or kick your Koopo ass. Koopo. Crisis core. I knew it had C's in it. Thank you. All right, what are we doing? <laughs> no, no, no. All right, change this whilst we can. That is actually horrifically ugly. Okay. Down I go. Window. To the windows. The walls. Sweat drips down my balls. Down these bitches. Oh, that's the text. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about... Oh, wait, no, you can change the window. I almost missed that. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's see if we can make the window, um... I don't know. Like bloody red or something? I was just changing the outline. Oh. That's disappointing. That's, that's disappointing. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Leave it alone, Koopo. Um, hang on. Is there a reset option? I th you know what? Just leave it. Just leave it. Just, 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 just back out. Just leave it. How do I? There we go. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we've got three Moogles. Koopek, Koopop, and Koomama. Interesting names. Advent Children is the movie one. Crisis Core is that. Yes. I've definitely seen Advent Children. That movie is thoroughly all right. Not great. But thoroughly alright. Okay, so it says wire to change. That's not the. It's gonna be the other button because I've switched it around. Yeah. Is it three groups? I'm assuming one of the groups is. Oh, wait, no, yes. Yeah, it's, it's straight up different groups of uh, Moogles. Huh. Well, I'll be jiggered. Alright, so. Presumably, I'm just supposed to beat them up. I, I, I doubt it's going to be too complicated. We got a lot of dudes. All right, so this is one of those games where we have four people in our party. That's interesting. See, that they didn't do that in seven or eight, but then they did it in nine. I think they did. They do it in ten. I can't remember. It was ten a three-party game. Very oh, cool. Any advice for my Dark Souls three and Maiden Voyage today? Or is it number three you're playing today? Um. Hmm. Advice for Dark Souls 3. Don't rush anything. This is probably the best advice I can give you for every Dark Souls game across the board. Is to not panic and heal when you are low on health. Wait for the opportunity. Because that's quite often why people die is they're like, Shit, my health's low. Better chug it. Oh, I'm dead. Because, you know, the enemies are going to try and attack you. So you, you got to basically bait out an attack. And get them to whiff, and then go for an Estus. 
That alone will save you a lot of deaths. Um, yeah, no, just just take your time. Don't be too reliant on parrying, because parrying is bloody hard to pull off in number three, and quite often, in my opinion, not particularly worth it. It's really fun to do when you pull it off, but quite often it's just going to get your ass kicked. Yeah, don't be too passive. Don't rely on shields. Use them when you need to. Don't rush to drink the Estus and... And then you, you'll be mostly fine, I think. Nothing else really springs to mind. I would recommend trying... Uh, here's one thing I wouldn't recommend. Don't bother trying to be a mage. I think magic is quite crap in 3. I think pyromancy might be alright. Yeah, the magic the magic is not great in 3, in my opinion. There's not that many options. It's just a bit bleh. You know? Just a bit bleh. Alright, I'm just creaming these dudes with this one group. Like, a, a Koopop is nearly dead, but frankly... Let's be. Alright, I'm gonna tell you something, and you're gonna think I'm a horrible human being then. This isn't surprising, right? So in Final Fantasy IX, and this is spoilers here for Final Fantasy IX, at some point in the game, you get uh, a couple of characters. I can't remember their names. Alright? But they're thieves in um, that group that Zidane's in, right? And at some point, you have them in your party. One of them has, like, a blindfold on, one of them is another dude. Like, one of them. The fat guy's called Sinner. And the rest of their names escape me. Mine's called Marcus, I remember that. But anyway, at one point you have two of them with you and then like, um, Garnet or whatever. I think it's those two and Garnet. I, having previously played Final Fantasy IX, knowing that those guys would, spoilers, die permanently and just be gone, what I did was I knocked them the fuck out in combat so they wouldn't get any XP, and then I made sure that Garnet got all of the XP every time I had to do a battle during that point in the game. No wasted EXP, man. Why would I waste EXP or guys are gonna die? Also, you may want to make sure you take off uh, equipment, because if you don't take off your equipment and then they go and die, you lose what equipment they had on them as well. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing. There you go. That's my advice. You are welcome, Bad Mew. This sounds like it's a boss. I think I made a horrible mistake by running into this with uh, just two living dudes. Should've done that, should I? Maybe Kupek can heal us or something. He's about to die. Oh, bollocks. Do I have a potion? No, don't kill him! Stop it! Use the potion. Use the... Eat the pudding, eat the pudding, eat the pudding. Potion of justice. Blank and Marcus. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if I killed them on camera, but I certainly, like, in subsequent playthroughs, after my first playthrough, I always made sure I, I downed them. Because otherwise the XP gets divided by everyone. That's the way that game works. Like, you know... Say you get 100 e Say... No. Here's a better example. Say this battle will give us 400 EXP. We would get 100 each. But if three of them are KO'd, that one guy gets all 400 EXP. Nothing actually goes to waste, so... I made sure that, you know, they weren't getting the EXP, because they weren't going to be around to keep it. You know, I knew they were going to die. I think I've made a horrible mistake here. I, I may be able to keep our characters alive, but this sounds like boss fight music to me, so... My guess is more like a mini boss, but I don't know. I'm going to see if we can steal something. You could have something good. Couldn't steal. Well... That was a waste of a turn, wasn't it? What happened to Kupek? Why is he... He's dead. Oh dear. Alright, well, uh... Shouldn't have done this, should I? F I'm gonna use a Phoenix down. Alright, let's, uh... I guess Kupek? Sure, we'll go with it. Oh dear, we're all dead. <laughs> Shit. Oh god, alright. Um... Well, it did that thing where it revived us. Well? We've learned from our mistake. My mistake was to not get cocky. Yeah, I thought I thought we could just handle them all with that one group. No. Okay, well we can just okay, they're all they're all dead. That's cool. Um Yeah, let's just go rock them with a bunch of moogles, I guess. I don't know. Seems like it should be fine to me. They're, I mean like they're all fully healed and everything now. I've probably lost my Phoenix down and my uh, my potion. Yes, I'm gonna cook. No, I shouldn't do that, because that would drive people insane. My Phoenix down. <gasps> I was choked. Jesus. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, Mog with us. That's a big deal. That's probably why he's got a ton of health. Mog is, at least in Final Fantasy IX, Mog is, I think it's Mog, right? He's like the main Moogle. He's like the king of the Moogles, basically. Best team ever, exactly. Oh, Mog, Cuckoo, Kutan, and Kupan. Yeah. That's all you need. I don't think we've got any attacks. We, just, we could just... There you go. It, it wasn't that hard. We, he was probably almost dead, but... Did that say someone got a new dance? What? This is a weird game. I don't understand it. 
There's like dudes with wrenches killing themselves in caves, calling themselves the Repo Man. There's people learning dances from battles. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. Koopo in 9 is the main man. Okay, Koopo. Who's Mog then? Is Mog like Koopo's brother or something? I remember Mog being important. Mog's definitely an important Moogle, at least. Even if not the main dude. Well, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Mog is actually a summon in some of the games. Yes. I think this will switch. Or this... This switch all. There you go. I think this switch will open a random cave. Yeah. Yeah. I can see why he would assume that. Hey, you back with us now? Wakey, wakey. You save me. Save your thanks for the Moogles. Get down your knees and tell them you love them. Not like that, just because they're short, you poets. Uh, I can't remember anything, past or present. I don't remember my damn name. You have amnesia? She doesn't remember, does she? She doesn't know. A man said my memory would come back. Give it time. You're safe with me. I'll give you my word. Or I give you my word. I won't leave you until your memory returns. By the way, this secret entrance might be useful someday. Don't forget about it. I will try and remember that. But my memory is crap. Mog is one of the movies you talk to in 9. I don't remember if he's really important. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he's important. Yeah, that's right. Mog is like Eco's um, protector or whatever. Am I controlling this? Yeah, okay, this is me doing this. I was just making sure. I thought this was a save point this year, but it's just a bit of steam. Disappointing. Disappointed! These controls are really weird. It could be because of the emulator. It feels like super duper slidey. You know like in the old Mario games where he slides after you... You know what I mean? Like after you let go of the button? This is a classroom for the beginner. Here we answer your questions about the world. Think of us as your advisors. So this is, you know, a tutorial room, basically, is what you're saying. I don't know if we need this. You know, I, I understand most Final Fantasy things, but I haven't played this game, so maybe I should try. What the hell happened there? What? 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 Uh, I'm using uh, a SNES emulator called SNES 9X. I keep pressing the wrong damn button. SNES 9X. This is water. Oh, okay. From a recovery spring, it will restore your HP and MP. Such springs are located throughout the world. Huh. Looks like a bucket to me. Well, there you go. What is this guy? Stop pacing! This is classroom for the beginner. You just said that. What are you doing? Teach me, Daddy. If you select the wait battle mode from the config menu, you can take all the time you. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll put it up to active when I'm, you know. Not scratching my. When I'm more fluent. In JavaScript... Bollocks! I messed up the quote. I can't speak up tired. In JavaScript, as well as Klingon. There you go. Might, that was a reference to a Weird Al song. Might want to go out and get some experience in the world before coming here. How? Yeah! Alright, let's leave. That man's has sword me. Don't appreciate it. Go on this door. <gasps> Save point! Hello, are you a monk? What about relics? Relics give your party members a variety of abilities. For example, print shoes double your speed. True Knight lets your shield, you shield others during battle. Dragoon Boots adds the jump command to your battle list. Gauntlets allow you to hold a sword with both hands. Use the main menu to equip two relics. Up to two relics per person. Okay, cool. So they are accessories, basically. Uh, receive Tincture. It's gonna be like a potion or something, right? Let's have a look. Covers 50 MP. Yeah, okay, so it's like a crappy... Uh... Well, no, not even like a crappy ether or ether. It's... No, yeah, no, I think they do, like, fifth, uh, do, like, a hundred. I don't know. That could be what Ethers are called in this game, or maybe Ethers are here as well. I do not know. It doesn't really matter. Is this a chest I can loot? This again. Monster in a box. Oh. Alright. Why is there a wolf in a box? In a house full of monks? I swear to god, these Japanese dudes were snoring some serious coke when they came up with this. Ha! Sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests, so it's basically a mimic, but like really weird. Use uh, curative items to restore- yeah, alright, alright, we don't need that. When buying armor and weapons, you'll see some symbols next to your characters. Okay, this could be important. Triangles pointing up indicate- okay, yeah, alright. Yeah, we, I've played the video game before. Uh, so down is bad, up is good, alright. 
equals is no change. E means the item is already equipped on the character. A symbol under a character means that person is now in your party. Alright. Pretty basic. Jason Agony just came out, you should play it. Did it just come out? Oh, interesting, I didn't know that. Wanna know how to ride a chocobo? Sure. Press the A button or up on the control panel. Okay, cool. So there are chocobos that we can ride. Cool. Uh, careful once you get off the bird will return to its pen. Right. This is a save point. Alright, we know how to use save points. Alright, I don't think we need to mess around with this. It's like, you know, it seems pretty self explanatory. I would like to use the save point, though. So if you kindly shut your face. Thank you. There we go. I think I did just save it here, but eh, just in case. Just in case. Alright. Let's leave this hellhole. Look at these barrels, can I look at them? No. Zero out of ten. Worst game I've ever played. Yeah, there's like some weird stuff going on here with the, the controls. Like, I was pressing up and he just whizzed to the left. I don't know why. Again, I assume it's an em See, he's doing it again. I assume it's an emulator thing. Eh, who might you be? My name's, uh... Lock, I think? I forget already. Yeah. These are the pits. We'd better hide sail it uh, southward to Figaro. Figaro! Alright. Guess we're going south then. Are we on the world map now? Is this a world map? <gasps> world map, get all. Okay. We have made it to the world map. This is exciting. This is comically weird to look at. Oh my god. Kind of scared the grab enemy. Leafer. First of all, that's a bloody Murkrow. These could be Pokemon. Like, that is an evil rabbit sitting on some lettuce. <laughs> like, and they're called Leafer. Like, this game was Pokemon before Pokemon was a thing. That's great. I should probably be stealing more than I am. Probably should be stealing. Yeah, that's the thing. There's a lot of games. Like, uh, people want me to play Detroit. People want me to play Agony. Oh, I'm playing this. I want to play Somerset Isles. Like, it's just too many games, man. It's not a damn time. I was trying stealing from an evil bunny sitting on some lettuce. You are an awful thief. You need to, you need to sort your life out, sir. Like, what the hell? Alright, do it again. This time, don't disappoint me. I got one tonic. I didn't really see what tonics do, but I assume they're kind of like crappy potions. She didn't do her little... Oh, maybe maybe I missed it, but I don't think she did a little spin. Let's have a look. Yeah, 50 HP. Potion is, what, 100? 250. Wow, that's a lot more. Is 50... Yeah, 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 My guess is a tincture is just a, a worse version of an epa. But I don't know. Final Fantasy 15 as well? Get on it, boy. Yeah, if only. Well, 15, like, I don't know if I'll ever play that, to be honest. I'm so burned from 13 that I just, I hate everything. I just want to see what's in the, in the forest here. The exact same thing. Alright, well. We tried. Today's lesson is never try. Shug it. Now, if I were a good little Final Fantasy player, I would stay here for about three hours. Steal all of the tinctures I can get my hands on. And, uh... You know, do other such things. Agony might be great for your... Or great with your humor. It might be. Let me have a look at Agony real, Agony real quick. I like I said Agony twice there because I did a double take it. I was like, I don't think I said the word Agony right, but no, I did. Alright, hold up. Agony. I know you can't see it. You don't need to see it. Get out of here. Alright, Agony is 21.43. Release date 29th of May. That's the day. Yeah, okay. Uh, it doesn't have any reviews yet. No, it's got two reviews. Hmm, interesting. Played 0 0.1 hours. Alright then. Uh, I, will, I will read the description real quick of Ag Agony. You will begin your journey as a tormented soul within the depths of hell without any memories about your past. The special ability to control people on your path. Uh, and even possess simple-minded demons gives you the necessary measures to survive in the extreme conditions you are in. By exploring the hostile environment and interacting with other weary souls of the hellscape, the hero will soon understand that there is only one way to escape from hell, and it will require meeting a mystical red goddess. I'll tell you what I'll do. For you, I will probably play Agony once we finish 
that game whose name I can't remember right now. God of War. Once you finish God of War, which we're very close to doing. Uh, we've got like a couple of bosses left, optional bosses. We finished the main story, so <gasps> something new. What was that? Like a that's a sand deal, I think. Sand array and a grenade. Is that how you say that? Again, these all look like Pokemon to me. Let's take out the Scorpion dudes. They seem quite tanky. So yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. We'll, uh, we'll make sure we get the optional bosses done and go to war. Then we'll have a gap in the schedule. See again, this, like, the brain's like, I want to play something. Oh, so it's just too many games, man. Too many games. Too many games. Ah. Time's it. How much longer do we have? Alright, we're still a little bit longer. About half an hour. Let's save on the world map anyway. Yes, I can. Fantastico. Boy. What oh, the saving sound sounds like Final Fantasy VII. Oddly reverse nostalgia. Okay, I'm getting sick of these bloody birds and these bloody rabbits on this bloody lettuce on this bloody plane. Get out of here. I'm leaving. I want to find no more birds and rabbits. I'm going to get to where I'm going. You bastards. I wonder if it's something in this game that uh, lowers the encounter rate or removes it entirely, because there is a few of the games. Played by Barbie Island Adventure. Is that a real game? Probably is, right? I know Hello, Hello Kitty Island Adventure is a real game. This is a random for Where the bloody hell are we at? Can we open like a world map? Okay, well, that's all we got. That is all we got. Is the red thing me? Yes. Where the crest are we heading? I have no idea. I guess we were told to go south, which is where I'm going, so... Yeah, I took that as, like, south out of the town. Not, like, south in the world, but maybe that's what I meant. I don't know. Has anyone else played Legend of Dragoon? No! I heard good things about that. Another game I want to get to. I found a cave. What the Christ? Is that a chocobo? Has to be, right? It doesn't want to talk to me. Who are you? This cave leads to South Figaro, Figaro, Figaro! It's closed now due to construction. Alright, we're not going there then. They did the classic thing, like in GTA, where they're like, Oh, the bridge is out right now. Oh, go kill some more gang members and the bridge will get magically repaired. Oh, okay, gotcha. Alright, so we don't go there. Good to know. My guess is we're probably supposed to go left along this little peninsula. The world doesn't seem terribly big, does it? I gotta be honest, like we're covering ground massively quick. I know the game's long. This is a lot of dudes. I don't know how I feel about this many dudes. I'm not saying I'm bad. Way better one. Oh. You don't know if it's a real game, but you're arguing with a moron in Smite who's trashed and you tell them to play. Oh, I gotcha. I understand. See, there's your first mistake is arguing with anyone online. I learned this. Oh, look at the background, man. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. It looks like the, uh. I guess it's supposed to look like a heat wave, right? Because, you know, desert. That's a nice little, uh... I guess it's in the foreground as well, but it's more noticeable in the back. It's a nice detail, I like that. We need some AoE attacks. I know. All we got is the basic bitch, like, eh. Really bad. Hey, we leveled up. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I remember in Final Fantasy VIII... Christ, the encounter rate! Jesus! In Final Fantasy VIII, you didn't earn money from killing dudes. It was only by being paid. And you get paid, like, every hour or something. In fact, it's more than that, I think. It's, like, every 20 minutes or something ridiculous. So what I used to do in Final Fantasy VIII was do all the seed exams as much as I could. Uh, which, you know, increase your seed rank, which increases your salary every time you get paid. And then I literally left the game on overnight. And then I come back in the morning and have, like, millions of gold. Never needed it. You never need that much money in Final Fantasy VIII. So I don't know why I bothered, to be honest, but... I don't know, I just did anyway. As much as I love 8, that's one of the things I didn't like about it. Like, I, I much prefer being able to get money from killing enemies, rather than just having this payment come through to me every 20 minutes or whatever. It just seems weird. Is this where we were? Let me double check. No, this is somewhere else. Figaro Castle, okay. Didn't mean to leave the screen. This is somewhere new, so this is nice. Wait! Hey, oh, it's you. Proceed. Okay, maybe this was supposed to be going. Because we were told to go to Figaro, right? <gasps> this music sounds like... I don't know. I think... I just hit the microphone. I think it's from Fun Fantasy 9? 
It sounds like a piece of music from that game, I think. Oh, it's so good. Go see the king. All right, bloody hell. All right, there's no point me even talking to the other dude because they're clearly just blocking the doors. I wonder if this game's about crystals. It doesn't sound like it. It sounds like it's about magic. Because primarily the Final Fantasy games are about one or two things. Magic? Or this. Or, you know, things similar to magic. Like, uh, you know, Machina in Final Fantasy X. The Machina was essentially what they considered it magic. You know, they're like, oh, it's magical because it's, you know, man-made. It wasn't really magic, but in their world it was to them. Or crystals. So many of the Final Fantasy games are about bloody crystals. They're like, oh, there's like these four sacred crystals and some bastard stole them and uh, now everything's gone to shit because that crystal was controlling the balance of wind and stuff and now it's all windy and so the castle's blown over and everyone's dead. And monsters have been unleashed because, you know, sand got blown up and they uncovered a cave and monsters came out of the cave. You mean this young woman? Who's that dude? Is he coming with us? Who do you think you are? He looks like he's going to be a party member. He looks too unique. Oh, uh, he's also called Man. Of course he is. That's why he's called Man. Because we get to name him, right? Oh, sorry. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. Or I am giving you... Is he giving me the finger? The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer of machinery. Edgar. I've heard that name as well. Sweet. We got Edgar. Espers in this game. Yeah, well, yeah, but they are talking about magic. Like, a lot of people have been talking about magic. I'm Edgar, King of Figaro. Oh, shit, we got the king. All right. Surprised someone like me knows a king. Talk to you later. So you're an Imperial soldier. No problem. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. What's with you anyway? Guess my technique's uh, getting a bit rusty. Hmm. I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. Sometimes I sound like a girl, and sometimes I sound like a dude. It looks like the Umbrella Corp logo. Also, I am behind these banners. This is interesting. I'm better behind this. Excuse me, sir. I want to get past you. Can I go through here? No. This is going to be secret booty. Feel free to wander about while I'm trying. Eat, eat letting me. It does feel like there should be something. Well, hang on. Maybe if we go from, like, the stage up here. I say stage. You know what I mean. It's not really a stage. It seems like somewhere they would hide a chest, right? Yeah, man. I'm mashing the button. Look, I'm sitting. Kind of. <laughs> Just back to front. Like, you know, uh... When people try and look sexy on a chair. That's what I'm doing. I'm, like, riding the chair backwards. Like, ah! Want some of this, big boy? And then you, like... Smack your ass. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Let's get out of here. I'm being weird. That's not his finger. What the hell was it then? It certainly looked like his middle finger to me. Look at the little fans moving. Look at the big fans moving. Where the hell did everyone go? I don't know. Where did they go? Is that it? We just... We got him? Alright. Wait, what? No, they're not in the party. Where did they go? Maybe they went to one of the side paths. Wait. How would you proceed? Okay, yeah, where you get at? Yeah. I didn't even look to be honest. Yeah, no, we can't go this way now. Okay. That's the problem. Ah, ah, the controls. Jesus. Whizzing around all over the place. More mucks. Hello. Scholars the world over are doing research on magic. Silly people, scholars. Hmm. Long ago, a force called magic exists. Ah. Huh? The Jedi robes. Biggs and Wedge. He looks like, um... Obi-Wan, you know? Talking about a force called... Yeah, yeah, I get it. People who use magic were called mage knights. 
They put a lot of thought into that name, didn't they? Uh, what should we call these these knight dudes who use man? I don't know, just go with mage knights. Yeah, yeah sure. All right. Well, there wasn't much going on here. I'm guessing. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a goddamn minute. This is it is a stairwell. Well, what's down here then? Ah, oh, okay. Can I go in this tower? Is this like a stairwell? Oh god damn it! All right, I guess not. The Twitch keeps keep crashing. That sucks. Move in the damn way! Gosh, you have to stop me every time. You should know my face by now, man. Like those people that, like, they know you in real life, and they know that you're 31, and then they're like, I need to see some ID. It's like, you know how old I am. Get out of here. Do we need to rest? Not right now, but I'm assuming we have to, to progress the story. I don't know. Uh, though Edgar showers his attention on women, most are too smart to pay any attention to him. Hmm, hmm. Twins, eh? He recently tried to hit on the High Priestess. Surely he's talked to you. Huh, okay. I guess if I leave the room and come back in, it will be like, do you want to sleep? And I'm assuming we have to do that. I don't know. You have to do that in some Final Fantasy games. Like, you have to sleep and then stuff happens, and we'll try that. Because I don't know what else we can do. Because when we went outside, they're not in our party anymore. And one would assume we need them in our party. No, nothing? No? Are they... Are they just not... What do I do now? They've got to be around here somewhere. Maybe they ask for the ID because of your height. How oh, dare you. I am not that sure, alright? It's not my fault everyone else is six five, seven feet tall. Did I just miss something in here? Like, I must have done, right? No, hang on, are these doors? Bloody crikey, they're doors. This changes everything. You're a shop? Okay. Alright, uh, we probably should pay attention to this. Um... Bloody hell! Look at the price of a tincture! I'm not okay with that. Uh, I'm gonna buy... I wish there was a description what these things do, man. Is there no way I can get a description? I don't think I can. Hmm. My assumption is... Okay, so in the other Final Fantasy games, most of them anyway, you have like a tent and a cottage. A tent restores like some HP and MP, and a cottage restores it fully for all of your party. My assumption is a sleeping bag is basically a tent, and a tent is basically a cottage. So a, co a tent is probably a full restore, a sleeping bag is probably a minor one. Let's get one sleeping bag for now, because we are not that well off. And we'll get a... Well, we'll get like two things down, so we got three. And I'll save the rest of my money for now. Let's buy one of those to round it up. Shell. What the hell is this? I have an automatic crossbow? How? Why? Where did I get that? Did I get it from a boss or something? I just never realized? Hang on. Can I equip that? Can you use it? No. No, you cannot. Right. Interesting. I have no idea why we have that. I got a soft. S A W F T. Sawing. Accused of sexual harassment. Well, apparently he was clear to that. I know no one know, knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I can help you. Okay, automatic. Okay, so we can buy one of those. We already have it. Uh, noise blaster. Interesting name. And a bio blaster. See, there's an arrow under her, which uh, would surely suggest that they're weapons for her, right? No? Don't know what that means. Hmm. Seems like it should mean that. I don't know. We got antidotes and a tonic. Cool. Nothing in the box. Yeah, I mean, I can't select them. I don't know. You're 6 2. Well, lucky you. Lucky goddamn you. I was not blessed with good genetics. What is this? This is nothing. This is nothing. Excuse moi. I still don't know where the hell to go. Like, we are still missing our party members. Like, where did they go? <laughs> where do I get them? I can't just... Surely I don't leave and just wander off on my own, right? Because we're going to get mauled to death by the enemies. Surely we need... Bert and Ernie. I forget their names. Edgar and... Lock. There you go. Good work, brain. 
Weird that I remembered Edgar first. Poor luck. I'd probably be offended by that. <sighs> yeah, just... Oh, hang on. It takes me down. Okay, maybe this is where we need to go. I still don't know. What about this clock? Nope. That one does not have an Alexia. Is there anything in this weird bowl? No. Hello. These thieves have been terrorizing the vicinity. Stay away from them. No. I'll tell you what to do. Relax, they're just blowing off steam. But I'm telling you, there's no sense keeping us here. We're just small potatoes. Mmm, potatoes. Compared to the real threat lurking out there, and King Edgar knows it. Can you name one Dave? I mean, I could. I don't like renaming characters that have a name already, you know what I mean? I don't mind to see Edgar. How dare they keep us in this stinking pit? I used to do that, though. Hey, let us out of here. Like, uh, I think I've told this before, but in 567, I think I renamed everyone. And let's see if I can remember every name. And a lot of these are very lame, and maybe some of them are racist. I'm just going to point that out. So, I named Cloud Blade, because I thought it was a cool name, and he had a sword, and that was all I thought. Does anyone who knows this game know where I need to go, by the way? Because I'm still missing my party members, and I cannot for the life of me imagine that we're supposed to leave this place without collecting them first. That seems like suicide. You know? Because they're, they're just not here. They're not in my mid. We don't have them. So if anyone knows where we find them, uh, feel free to tell me. So, uh, Barrett, I named Mr. T. And I don't, I don't really think that's racist, because that man is clearly supposed to be Mr. T. Like, he even says fools all the time. Uh, and then, I can't say it either. Is it just... I bet, I bet it's just... No? No, they're still not here. Weird. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that's what I'm overriding. Yeah, it's just me right now. What the hell? Like, what? Like, what? I don't understand it. Um, T for I named Big Tits. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna go wandering off on my own, but this seems like a horrible idea. Like, just the worst idea. Yeah, we're just on our own now. Where are they? Like, I straight up don't know where they went. I feel like I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Uh, so who else was there? Uh, it's gonna be random. I can't remember exactly what order you get them in. Um, Red 13, I named Red. I know. I know. I just cut off the 13 part because I didn't like the way it looked. Uh, and I liked the name Red. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, Sid Highwind, who I guess was just called Sid. I think I named him Sidric. <laughs> Again, I'm an idiot. Um, Vincent, I named Dracula. For obvious reasons. Uh, trying to remember if... Is that all the character? No, there's Eris. What the hell did I call Eris? I actually can't remember what I named Eris. How bad is that? Poor bitch dies and I can't remember what I named her. Well, we won the battle. I have no bloody idea where our characters are, man. Like, you know, we have to, they, we have to get them. They, they're around there somewhere. Where have I not been, though? Oh, bugger off. God, you're annoying. All right, so this thing about this. We went, did we go down both these stairwells? Yeah, I know she's called Aerith. But she was called Eris. Oh, this is where we have to go, right? Yeah, here we go. Beyond is the Figaro Castle engine room. We're ready to leave at a moment's notice. Surely this is where we need to go. Except I can't because he's in the way. And do I keep going further down, maybe? I thought I came down here, but I guess I didn't. That's dangerous. Where the shit do I go then, bro? What the hell? What? I don't understand. No que paso. Hmm. Why are the characters were there in Final Fantasy VII? Or have I got all of them? Oh, there's, um... The Mog, right? No, Cat Sith. Oh, I called him Cat Shit. <laughs> I'm not proud of this, by the way. I'm not proud of this. I was quite young. Go up. I'm going up. Is this like a secret door behind the throne room or something? Alright. Well, hang on, no, we thought we could look around here, right? I think that's all the characters involved. No, no, there's Yuffie. I called her Buffy. Because I'm a big Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan. Now I think I remembered all of them. I think that was all of them. Classic Buffy. Go up. Go up. I'm going to have to look this up. Oh, wait, no, we can go up here. Bloody hell, I had no idea. Receive Phoenix down. I didn't realize this was a stairwell. Well, this changes everything. All right, we got it. Ah, here we go, here we go. 
Has to be it. Now, controls. Yeah. Hey, Passo? I don't understand. It's not where we go. <laughs> what the shit, bro? Every time I think I found where to go, it's not. I'm like mashing the button in case you can't hear that. Hmm. Leave the throne room. Uh huh. Then where do I go? Like, this is probably me being a dum dum, but I feel like I've been in basically every direction. But yeah, so so that's why I named all of the Final Fantasy Seven characters. Yeah, like I said, not proud of that. Uh, but uh, that was the thing. But yeah, since then I've never really liked to rename characters in video games. I'm gonna rest here because we took a beating. Did I never go to the right? I feel like we did. But I guess I should check. We tried sleeping here. We spoke to like everybody. I don't think there's another way out of this room. Let's try... Uh, yeah, let's try the thing on the right. Maybe that's the one I missed. Staircase down. Staircase down? Where? Go over there. God, that's annoying. Alright. No, stop it! Leave the throne room and there are staircases. Okay, they go down. And clearly I'm just missing these things. Obviously. Right, so here's the throne room. Staircase down. You mean these? Because I swear I tried these, right? Anyway, we tried, um... We tried these. Did I just not do one of these doors? I think we did the one on the left. Did I not do this one? No, we did this one. Yeah, we did both these doors. They're not staircases either. Where are these staircases? For real. These go up, not down. These even go down? Someone help me out here. I do not see them. This is the problem with uh, pixel art sometimes. Go to where you came into the castle and there are staircases. Right, okay. Does anyone care about Final Fantasy VII dirt spoilers? I don't think so. Where the asshole guards talk to you. these ones because we've been down both these right yeah this one led here where the dungeon is is there another way out of the dungeon or something that i missed is there a specific character i'm supposed to speak to with a cell like i feel like we've been here for bloody ages i demand to see edgar how dare they keep us in the stinky pit he's okay you already spoke to him hmm You know, I don't think anything we do in the dungeon. And we definitely went this way as well, because wasn't it the one where the old man, yeah, the old man's blocking the way? Beyond is the figure of castle engine room. We're ready to leave it a moment's notice. Is that not where I should be going? And is the other staircase here? But he won't let me go down it. He's just saying that's dangerous. Room where the rug is. I don't think you went to the cells yet. Room where the rug is? Oh, here? Oh, I did go into the cells. Bro, it just was, right? Like, right here. Hello, Kuhaku. How's it going, dude? There must be something I'm missing in the cells, right? I'm gonna look this up in a second. If the cells are not the answer here, I'm just gonna look it up. This is taking bloody forever. The stairs that go up. Does it go up? From the cell, you mean? I am good, dude. I am good. Quite tired, but I'm good. Alright, I'm gonna look up right outside the throne room. But weren't they the ones that uh, led to the roof? I'm pretty sure they were, right? We went in both those doors, I'm fairly certain. I probably should check that. That's the throne room. Did the stairs that go up which were those? Yeah, they go to the roof. Let me double check that I've got. Oh, no, I know. No, we did go on both these doors, right? 
Shit, I don't know where to go. Right, let me look it up. Let me look it up. It's taking too long. Uh, I'll walk through. All right, give me a moment. Okay, where are we? Walls of balance. What the hell is this shit about? What? <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, blah 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 blah. Alright, so this is the beginning of the game. Figure a class, alright, here we go. Proceed to the throne room when you're ready. Locke will introduce Terra to King Edgar and run off, leaving the pair to speak. Edgar will assure Terra that she's safe and will encourage her to explore the castle. Make your way to the back wait your way back to the courtyard. Speak to any NPCs along the way. The room on the right leads to the library. A courtyard? All right, let's go to the courtyard. I mean, I'm trying to follow this. As a, is this the courtyard? Is this where we are? I believe so. The room on the right leads to the library, which in turn leads to a small tower. Is this is this the one they're talking about? I never came in this room. Fuck! I always do that. I swear, I thought I came in there, so that's why I never looked at it. God, that's annoying. No, we did come in. Okay, never mind. We we did come in here, but apparently there's somewhere we can go from here that we missed. It must be this um. The stairwell here, right? Because yes, we did come in and speak to these dudes. I just don't think we went down here. But well, having said that, yeah, we did come in. We did. Hold on, let me read the rest of this. Leads to a small tower. The room on the left side will take you to a chamber with stairwell and a small room where you can rest and or chat with the ladies. We did that. Right now, the stairs will take you to Edgar's chambers. Okay, so we've got to find the room with the ladies and apparently go down some stairs. Even with a guide, I still don't know where the hell we go. Alright, we're doing it though. We're doing it. What up, Thomas? How's it going, man? I feel like it's been forever. How are things, buddy? How was life? Oh, yeah, I remember Hojo. Classic individual. So I don't think this is where the women were, was it? Or maybe it was. No, it was. Okay, so yeah, this is the stairwell. So maybe this is the place we didn't go. Let's hope so. This apparently takes us to Edgar's room, I think. Where the hell is Edgar's bloody room? How is this Edgar's room? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, it's the... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so there's nothing really in the castle. We had to walk out of it a bit. That was the problem. All right, success. Thank you all through. Matron. Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. Let me guess he's the main villain. Am I right about that? Life could be better. I'm sort of here, though, dude. That sucks. I hope things get better soon, buddy. Is that his twin brother? Oh yeah, it is. Youth. Youth. Brother, what's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how his thin his face has become. Has he got a mullet? What is it? Brother! Tears? Sad face and shit? Edgar's twin brother who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabin. Ah. Or Sabin. Probably Sabin. Interesting. The fact that we get to name him is weird. Yes, his name is Sabin. Oh, he looked so like his father. When he ran away, he was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. I still think he's going to be a bad guy. His highness said he'd marry me when I get older. Unlucky you. Alright, unfortunately, I have to end the stream here, otherwise we're going to be late to go see Deadpool. So, uh, let me go wander outside so I can say, we know where to go now. It's just, it's literally not in the castle, it's like a wing of the castle, it's kind of in the castle. It's like a wing on the left, and we couldn't really get there directly from the castle without doing some weird nonsense. So it doesn't really surprise me that I kind of missed that, but it does surprise me it took me quite so long of missing it. Anyway, thank you all for joining me, I do apologize about the short stream, like I say, we've got to go see Deadpool. Uh, I will maybe stream later? I don't know yet. We shall see. I might stream later tonight. We'll see. I'll keep you informed. On that, for now at least, good night everybody and goodbye! Boop. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it and an especially huge thank you to this month's 10 plus dollar tier patrons who are as follows. Don Lobo, KB, I'll Be Jiggered, Miss Justice 83, Black Wolf 8994, Billy Nying, Dr. Papa Penguin, 
Philip Rep, aka Bebop56210, Grandpagus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And thank you to the five plus dollar tier patrons, as well as this month's Twitch subscribers who should appear on the screen at any moment, and everyone in the lower tier as well. I really could not do this without you guys. If you would like to help support the channel and become a patron yourself, you can do so over on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Mr. Anderson LP. Most of all though, just thank you for watching. If you would like to help support me, but you cannot afford to do so financially, you can always hit the like button, leave a comment, that would help out a great deal as well. Other than that, I will see you next time. Good night everybody and goodbye!